Hello friends, once again welcome back to yet another session on the cleaning validation. Before starting this session, I would like to request you to visit all previous five sessions where you get basic idea about the cleaning validation, dirty equipment whole time studies, clean equipment whole time studies, then calculation of macro values. How to design protocol, how to write report, everything is discussed in our previous sessions. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the analytical method validation for cleaning validation. That is, analytical method validation for swab or rinse residues. So, let us begin. Methods or instruments used for rinse or swab residue testing. Usually HPLC, HPTLC and EV. These methods are preferred for the swab residue testing or rinse residue testing. But in cleaning validation, apart from HPLC, HPTLC or EV, other methods like GC, TOC, Total Organic Carbon, ELISA method, pH meter conductivity methods based on the pH conductivity are used for these swab residue or rinse residue testing in cleaning validation. We validate analytical method for residue of previous product. That means once you selected the worst case molecule, you have to validate the method for that particular worst case product or residue of that particular worst case product right it is not necessary to validate method for each and every molecule for cleaning validation purpose you may validate it for the routine analysis but for cleaning validation you have to consider the only worst case molecule for validation of analytical method for residue of previous product correct so how to select the analytical method? What is the criteria for selection of analytical method? What are the advantages of different methods? We are going to discuss now. For example, if you use HPLC, HPTLC and GC method, all these methods are sensitive and also very specific. So it is highly recommend to use HPLC method or HPTLC method. TLC may not be sensitive enough. So only TLC method is not at all recommended. As an usual or as an Indian uh, industrial practice, UV method is usually preferred, but this method is moderately specific, so not reliable method for the quantification. But in case of some product, it can have high sensitivity and if proved comparable with the HPLC method or HPTLC method, you can use this method for routine analysis or cleaning validation um, residue or swab testing right ELISA enzyme linked immunosorbent assay method this method is very sensitive and very specific it is used for biopharmaceuticals but this method is very expensive and labor intensive as well because of its with a long sample turnaround time. Other methods include pH, conductivity, TOC. pH method is very sensitive to hydrogen ion, so very good at checking even trace levels of acids and alkali that may be used as a part of cleaning process. Mainly in case of testing cleaning residue, pH, conductivity and TOC methods are applied. Conductivity method is very sensitive method for the total ions. TOC analyzers are increasingly popular because they are very sensitive but not specific. However, if the manufacturer put a total residue limit of say 100 ppb, then TOC is handy analytical tool. These last three methods that is TOC, pH and conductivity when used in the combination are proving, proving very powerful cleaning validation assay method. So these three methods are recommended when used in a combination. 
the method must be sensitive analytical procedure that is shall be capable of examining parts per billion level of analyte a non specific assay method is not a disadvantage for cleaning validation where total contaminants are being studied as a opposite to just a specific analyte so wherever it is tested against the opposite against to the specific analyte you can use other methods as well what is the regulatory expectation as per who trs 1033 anager 2 5.9 analytical procedure regulatory expectations are as below samples obtained in the cleaning validation should be analyzed by using procedures that are validated for their intended use so these methods should be validated clear cut message they are giving the procedure should be developed in accordance with the principle of analytical quality by design so method development should be in line with the principle of analytical quality by design specific methods such as hplc should be used so guideline b hplc use karna recommend kar rahi hai wherever appropriate uv spectrometric methods and testing of total organic carbon that is toc may be used where indicated and where justified agar aap uv spectra ki method hplc se comparable hai toc method agar hplc method se method ke sath comparable hai in that case if justified you can very well use uv spectrometric method non specific methods जो हमने बात किया पीएस कंडक्टिविटी इवन टाइट्रेशन कैन बी यूज्ड ओनली इफ जस्टिफाइड एंड अदर मेथड्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल और अदर मेथड्स मेथड्स कैन नॉट बी इंप्लीमेंटेड वेयर स्पेसिफिक मेथड्स कैन नॉट बी एम्प्लॉयड एंड देयर यूज कैन बी जस्टिफाइड फॉर एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन द आउटकम ऑफ रिस्क एसेसमेंट अगर रिस्क एसेसमेंट बता रहा है कि ये मेथड यूज करने से कोई रिस्क नहीं है सो आप नॉन स्पेसिफिक मेथड भी यूज कर सकते हो राइट नाउ अदर रेगुलेटरी एक्सपेक्टेशंस इंक्लूड where analytical procedures were developed and validated off site the scope and extent of validation should be defined and justified agar aapne off site method develop kiya hai to kis had tak ye method aap jo side mein aapne send kiya hai method wo side mein kitne extent tak ye validate karna hai that can be defined and justified this includes procedure that are transferred from the research and development lab R&D lab to the site laboratory or from one site to another site ye case mein aapko kya validate karna you have to define and that that should be analytical method validation for cleaning validation should be routed through the pre defined protocol analytical procedure should be able to quantify residual levels at the maximum safe surface residue levels matlab kya hai aaj ke date mein agar bole to अगर मैको का उसका क्वांटिफिकेशन है तो उसके बिलो के ट्रेसेस मेथड शुड एबल टू क्वांटिफाई मैन्युफैक्चरर शुड एंश्योर दैट द प्रोसीजर्स रिमेन वैलिडेटेड दिस इज रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ डब्ल्यूचो टीआरएस 1033 जीरो थ्री थ्री एनएक्स टू ओके नाउ एम फॉर क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन पैरामीटर्स टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर द वैलिडेशन ऑफ एनालिटिकल मेथड फॉर द टेस्टिंग ऑफ प्रोस प्रोडक्ट रेसिडी यूजिंग द स्वैप सैम्पलिंग मेथड और रेन सैम्पलिंग मेथड तो क्या क्या है पैरामीटर्स व्हाट आर दो पैरामीटर्स वी नीड टू कंसिडर फॉर द एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन फॉर क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन सो दीज आर द पैरामीटर्स ओके फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज स्पेसिफिसिटी दैट इज सिलेक्टिविटी नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर इज एलओडी एंड एलओ क्यू इन एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन फॉर क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन दीज पैरामीटर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज स्पेसिफिसिटी LOD, LOQ, linearity, accuracy. Okay. So continue. LOD and LOQ determination, method precision at LOQ level. You have to consider linearity and range. I am not elaborating each and every step here because uh, you all are aware of uh, analytical method validation, and I am trying to make another session on analytical method validation. so uh here we don't have the that much of time to explain each and every parameter okay so i am just considering which parameters to be considered then next parameter 
that is precision system precision method precision intermediate precision you need to consider accuracy that is percent recovery by spiking here hame ye samajhna bahut zaruri hai accuracy that is percent recovery by spiking in case of spiking on the surfaces you need to consider all surfaces which contribute to the previous product residue for example एसएस के सर्फेसेस हो सकते हैं टेपलॉन के हो सकते हैं अदर देन एसएस एंड टेपलॉन आपके जो कन्वेयर बेल्ट है उसके कुछ सर्फेसेस हो सकते हैं तो आपको जितने भी टाइप ऑफ सर्फेसेस है आपको परसेंट रिकवरी स्टडी स्पाइकिंग स्टडी जो है वो ऑल सर्फेसेस पे करना पड़ेगा और उसका जो भी फैक्टर आएगा यू हैव टू अप्लाई दैट फैक्टर वाइल कंसिडरिंग दी कैलकुलेशन ओके नेक्स्ट फिल्टर वेलिडेशन फिल्टर वैलिडेशन कुछ कुछ कंपनियां करती है फिल्टर वैलिडेशन में क्या करते हैं फिल्टर्ड सॉल्यूशन फिल्ट्रेशन पे एंड सेंट्रिफिकेशन एक दूसरे के साथ कंपेयर करते हैं विच मेथड इज बेटर फॉर द रिंग सैंपल विच मेथड इज बेटर फॉर द स्वैप स्वैप सैंपल डिस्क सो जनरली क्या होता है रिंग सैंपल के लिए सेंट्रिफ्यूगल मेथड जो सैंपल प्रिपरेशन का मेथड है वो ज्यादा अच्छा होता है और फिल्ट्रेशन मेथड स्वैप के लिए ज्यादा अच्छा होता है बट इट अगेन डिपेंड ऑन व्हाट इज योर स्ट्रेटर्जी यू हैव टू डिफाइन दिस एंड यू कैन प्रोसीड अप विद दैट स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एनालिटिकल सॉल्यूशन यू नीड टू कंसीडर दिस पैरामीटर एज वेल आठ घंटे के बाद 24 फोर आवर्स के बाद यू हैव टू कंसिडर द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एनालिटिकल सोल्यूशन सो ऑल दीज सेवन पैरामीटर्स नीड टू बी कंसिडर वाइल कंसिडरिंग एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन फॉर क्लीनिंग वैलिडेशन Mainly you have to consider specificity, yellow, yellow, Q, linearity, range, and accuracy. These four parameters are more important. You can skip filter validation. You can skip stability of the analytical solution if justified. Okay. Now parameters to be considered for the analytical method validation. Apart from those parameters, the laboratory must validate the analytical method before cleaning validation is started. Alternatively, there need to be an evidence that the analytical method is suitable for use. Laboratory should check precision, linearity, selectivity. The latter three specific analytes are being targeted. However, not that interference by the another analyte will make the validation fail or rather than pass. Limit of detection, limit of contribution you need to consider. Recovery by spiking with analyte below 50 percent is considered unacceptable by some authorities. so it is better to consider 80% is good so it is better to consider recovery above 80% the, the result is multiply by the recovery factor to give the actual level of residue consistency of recovery or reproducibility of the method should be checked analytical method validation for swab or rinse residue shall only be performed for the worst case product i have already explained this recovery factor shall be added, added to the results obtained during the analysis of rinse and swab samples रिकवरी ऑफ बायो बर्डन शाल ऑल्सो भी एस्टेब्लिश बहुत सारी कंपनी में माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल टेस्टिंग तो करते हैं जहां पे टोटल एरोबिक काउंट टीबीसी टीएफसी और टोटल एरोबिक माइक्रोबल काउंट और टीवाईएमसी बोलते हैं टोटल ईस्ट एंड मोल्ड काउंट ये कंसिडर तो करते हैं लेकिन उसका जो सर्फेस एरिया से जो या स्वाब मेथड से जो रिकवरी है रिन सैंपल से जो रिकवरी है वो कोई कंसिडर नहीं करता कोई प्रूव नहीं करता केमिकल के लिए प्रीवियस प्रोडक्ट रेसिडिव के लिए यस वी कंसिडर बट बायो बर्डन के लिए हम लोग कंसिडर नहीं करते तो सरफेस से अगर बायो बर्डन है तो वो कितना रिकवर हो रहा है वो भी हमको एस्टेब्लिश करना जरूरी है दिस इज द अनादर नीड समाइम अथॉरिटी एस फॉर दिस ऑल्सो सो वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो दैट ऑल फ्रेंड्स होप यू लाइक दिस सेशन वी फाइंड इट यूजफुल इफ यू लाइक दिस सेशन please share with your friends if you are new to this channel please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will receive notification for all upcoming videos thank you jai hind